Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another CCNA tutorial video. So today I will introduce you to the Packet Tracer software. Packet Tracer is a network simulator software where you can design and create lots of networking infrastructure without physically building it. For example, you can make a network using a router or two routers, two switches and five PCs without purchasing the PC, router and switches actually. Also, it is very useful for demonstrating lots of networking concepts and troubleshooting lots of networking problems in virtual scenario. So I will show you in this video how to use uh, the packet tracer and what are the options use available to you for designing a network and uh, lots of other things or cool things you can do with the packet tracer. So let's start the video. So I am using the packet tracer version 6.2 where lots of new things are introduced. I will also tell you about that. So first coming to devices. So let's first coming to routers. So in routers, routers are the L3 devices or layer 3 devices which works on network layer of the OSI model. So in routers you have options of 1841, 1941, 2620, 2811, 2911 and one new inclusion in 6.2 version that is 819 router. It's a wireless router. You also have generic routers option. Now coming to switches, switches are generally layer 2 device or data link layer device. Also there is a special type of switch called L3 switch which works on the network layer much like the router. It can perform lots of routing operations also but within a limit. So in switches you have options of older 2950 switch, uh, newer 262960 uh, switch and generic switch options are also there. And one L3 switch is there, 3560, 24 port. Also, we have older bridge option. Bridges are the devices were used before the switches were mainstream. Bridge uses uh, software programs for the switching operations. Now, coming to hubs, hubs are the layer 1 device, works on the physical layer. Hubs are nothing but connecting different LAN segments. So in hubs you have generic hub option, one another repeater option and also one coaxial splitter where you can in one coaxial cable and split it between two other connections. Now coming to wireless devices, you have wireless access points, wireless access points and one wireless router also. And let us include in 6.2 version, you can also include a cell tower or mobile tower. Also you have a central office server. Now coming to end devices, you have lots of options like generic PC, generic laptop, you can generic server, generic printer, Cisco 7960 IP phone, VOIP devices, analog phones, TVs, wireless uh, laptops, smartphones, uh, wireless, wireless end devices and network sniffer. Sniffer is a device which can analyze packets sent throughout the network. Now coming to security. You have Cisco 5505 ASA firewall. ASA stands for Adaptive Security Appliances. It's a firewall device made from Cisco. Now, in WAN evolution, for WAN connectivity, you have cloud option. So you can basically get flavors of cloud computing. You can get DSL modem or digital subscriber line modem. And you can also get cable modems. So DSL modems works on the telephone lines for connecting remote networks. Also cable modems are frequently used in urban areas for providing internet services to home users via their existing cable line along with their TVs. Now custom made devices, you have custom made 1841 router and 261 routers. Custom made devices are basically nothing but existing devices with custom expansion cards already installed on the device. I will also show you in this video how to attach cards on a router. Now coming to multi-user connection, you have a remote network options. So let's make a network using switch and routers. So we have one router. Now you can have the connection options also. 
here clicking on connections you can get automatic connection type console connection console is used for troubleshooting operations on networking devices i will show you how to use consoles in my later videos now we have straight connect connectivity at cross over ethernet connectivity fiber optics phone coaxial serial dce and serial dte stands for data communication equipments and data terminal equipments also we have octal connectivity now if you don't know the proper connectivity option you can click on automatic now click on the first device click on the seventh device it will automatically choose the connection type so for example connecting different devices like switches and routers we should use straight cabling so it has automatically detected the cabling standard now again clicking automatic connecting pc to the switch again pc to the switch so here we have created a network now exploring the devices so click on the router it will open up window click on zoom in so this is how our router looks this is the back side of a router where you can see slot 1 is there so in router expansion slots you can insert different cards for different operations on a router router is a very flexible device where you can attach different cards depending on your network uh, requirement below that there is a flash card slot where you can enter a flash card for storing the ios file now you have a usb connectivity option here where in real router you can insert a usb stick for copying the ios files and configuration files now you have two ports on the router one is fast ethernet 0/0 and another is fast ethernet 0/1 you have a console port here given in blue color in console port you connect your console cable and other end to your desktop pc for troubleshooting and configuration of the router also you have auxiliary cable below the console auxiliary cables are used for auxiliary connectivity i will show you the use of that now coming to slot 0 we have two expansion slots one is slot 1 here and one slot 1 is slot 0 here now this is the power switch of the router it's right now green means router is on you can turn off the router and turn on the router back that means you can power cycle the router and here is the power cable inserted on the router so this physical view can vary from router to router now coming to expansion slots first turn off the router before inserting any card now we have various options like weak 2t this is the weak 2t below how it looks which means high speed wan interface card 2t means two slots are there so basically if you want to make a remote network where one router is at one end of the network and another router is at another end of the network then you need the weak card so let's insert a weak card in our router now various options are there depending on the router model 4ESW means four ethernet switch switch ports you can also insert a wireless access point in your router to act the router work as a wireless access wireless access point or a wireless router so basically you can purchase a physical router and insert the wireless ap card to make it function as a wireless router so i will show you in my later videos the different uses of the cards let's close it here now open the switch you can zoom in switch is a device which basically joins different lan segments on there are various ports here 24 ports are there on the 24 ports you can connect 24 different devices to the switch on the front of switch there is system light led rps led and duplex speed mode uh, duplex speed leds and mode button i will show you in my later videos the functionality of this so this is the cisco 2950 switch you can also open the pc dialog so this is the pc is right now on you can off it and you can insert a wireless module wireless access point to the pc or wifi card for using the desktop as a wireless device now you can also insert lots of 
physical cards on the desktop as we do uh, in our real desktop. So first let's connect, uh, turn on the device. Here you can configure different TCP servers facilities on the. Now you have various options on your PC like firewall installation, just much like, much like Windows firewall. Netflow collector, email services, PC wireless services, virtual private network or VPN, dial-up connectivity, terminal emulation, and command prompt, much like the Windows command prompt. You can also open a browser on your device. You can insert manually insert the IP addresses to the device. Now let's open the laptop. So this is the laptop view. You can zoom in. Also, so here is the Ethernet port. It's right now powered on. You can power off and on the laptop. Again, with laptop, you have various options for expansion cards. Similarly, you can configure the laptop also. You can also maintenance uh, contract activate on the device. So this is the end of the part one of the packet test introduction video. I will continue my discussion in part two of the video. So thanks for watching. Link to the part two is given in the video description below. Don't forget to like and share the video. So see you in my next video. Still then stay connected by subscribing.